Hi everyone, I'm actually and I am actually getting this out before I go to work. Shocker. Um, so this is my Star Wars video for the uh, for the week. And uh, also, by the way, I'm aware that the Baywatch trailer dropped today. I actually uh, or last night, one of the two. I actually did watch it, so I'm not going to do a reaction. I will say though, real quick on the Baywatch trailer, it actually looked pretty funny. Sorry, I just finished eating something. It actually doesn't look bad at all. I, at first it started serious. I'm like, they're not really taking a serious approach. Right? And then I'm like, no, okay, they know what this is. Uh, they even There's even like an in... <laughs> there's even a line that sounds like an in-joke. It's like, oh, you can restore the Baywatch name. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, this is uh, the Star Wars video. And it's dealing with a topic that, to be fair, until Episode Eight, at least if we get a trailer or something for Episode Eight, we really can't judge on that very much. Um, however... We can, at the very least, speculate, at least a little bit from what we can tell, what we know, and stuff like that, is that, excuse me, are we possibly going to see Ray at any point go over, or maybe even like Luke did? Uh, okay, she's eating, sorry, Domino was getting into the cat box earlier, so I just want to be sure what I was hearing was her eating her own food. Um, could we see Ray at any point turn to the dark side? Now... It can mean one of two things. One, she taps into the dark side briefly, like she, like Luke did against Vader. Two, um, she actually goes full on dark side. Or three, she has an inner conflict with the dark side, apart as part of her Jedi training. Uh, and the question now again, I can only answer this based on what we know of Ray, the character, one of the events of Force Awakens, and possibly the little we can uh, excerpt from the minutest details we have of Episode Eight. Um. And the next to nothing we know of episode 9. But also that uh, we know that these stories have often been Skywalker-centric. Well, first and foremost, it's still the up in the debate of who Ray's parents are. Um, it's, um, now, I've heard a lot of speculation, uh, and what, what do I personally, I personally don't think she's a Skywalker, myself. There's a lot of theories that can support she's a Skywalker, but there's, you know, evidence to disprove that as well. And honestly, I go under the belief that, or in a hope and the belief that, I think that she, what you got there, puppy? You've got a magnet. How'd you get the magnet? You're, well, you're not getting the magnet as long as my foot's on top of it. Um, I go under the belief that she is a, in some way, shape, or form a descendant of Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think that would be, uh, that would be cool. And there would be, from what I understand from the latest episode of Rebels, which I don't watch, but, um. Yeah, you're not getting that magnet, puppy. That, oh, no, you're not getting that magnet. That was a magnet from, like, when I was... How old was I in this? Look, look at me. Look how young and full of hope I was. Um, holy crap, man. That had to have been... Sorry, did side trick. This had to have been at least when I was in first... I didn't get glasses until I was in first grade, so the earliest this could have been is in first grade. Um, but anyway, side tracking. Um... Yeah, I, I apparently because the new latest episode of Rebels could really has some implications that say Obi, which also implies that maybe Obi Wan's actually in this episode of Rebels, um, or coming up. Again, I don't watch Rebels really at all. I watch like clips here and there, but I just don't watch Rebels. Not that I hate it or anything. I just I didn't get into it, and therefore I haven't gotten into it. Uh, but apparently, there's some big evidence to support, or at least some major. Or credible evidence to support that maybe she's a descendant of Kenobi, not, not his daughter. It'd probably be like his granddaughter or something. However, it's still it's still possible that she could be related to him in some way, and I, I dig that theory. But the question becomes: um, is, first of all, any Jedi is really susceptible to the dark side. Even Yoda, in some sense, is susceptible to the dark side. Um, but uh, from what we can tell, could Ray turn to the dark side? Well, could is a loaded question. Anything could happen. She could turn to dark side at some point. Will she? Is she likely to? For the sake of this story, I'm probably going to say no. I think she is our main focus, our main heroine at the moment. Uh, Kylo is really the one who turned to the dark side and, you know, want, wanted to accept, to embrace what his, his grandfather, even though, again, I, I have to imagine Snoke twisted that fact. That's like, no, 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 he wanted to be there, but he got turned to the light. Light is the evil side, dark side is good. Dark is good. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, your your father, your grandfather wanted to be redeemed. He wanted, didn't really want the dark side in the long run, but, you know, you're kind of an idiot, Kylo. <laughs> Whatever. You're an easily manipulated tween. 
Um, honestly, though, Kylo is more or less Anakin 2.0. I, I, I prefer what they did with Kylo far more than she got a squeak toy. What then? What they did with Anakin? Um, I'm, 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 I'm playing with Squeaky Monkey. Um, <laughs> um, so no, I don't think we'll see Ray go to the dark side simply because we already got one person on the dark side, and that one person is almost completely irredeemable. Not a, nothing's impossible. If they throw a spin it in a way that could really work, Kylo Ren could be redeemed, theoretically speaking. But he, he's honestly just, of all his actions, he is irredeemable, no matter, um, for lack of a better term, unless they pull a miracle out of their writing butts, he's irredeemable. Uh, Ray, Ray's not, Ray is not the same as Scott. Ray had an option to maybe join Kylo, and he, she didn't take it. It's like, no, the Force, you know, Force, embrace the Force, embrace the light of the Force, the good of the Force. Um... So I mean, I don't I don't think we'll see Ray, but l let's play a little devil's advocate. What if she does go to the dark side? How would that happen? How is it possible she could turn to the dark side? She seems to be generally a force for good. Well, I, it's actually very believe it or not, it's a very simple way I could see her turn to the dark side, and it's actually in a way similar to how Anakin or probably Kylo was seduced by the dark side. Is that one? She's young. She's never had any formal training by a Jedi at all. But you can clearly tell she's also got a lot of turmoil, a lot of emotions, and a lot of inner rage in her. She's got she's got a lot of stuff she needs to deal with, and that's something that could be easily manipulated by someone, the Snow, Kyle, whoever, Del Toro, um, depending on what kind of character he is. Uh, I would I would love it if Kyle, uh, Del Toro turned out to be an actual Sith. It's like yeah, Snoke. Step down, bitch. Well, let me show you. Let me let me show you what a real villain's like. Benicio del Toro is a freaking Sith Lord. That would be badass. I hope. I can hope, can I? Um, but yeah, that that honestly is uh, that that is actually the most conceivable way I could see her uh, turning to the dark side. Just letting her letting her aggression and anger and rage uh, just take over and just cause her to do something that you know is for her own selfish desires as opposed to, you know, being selfless as a Jedi or just the user of the light would be. Not so to say there aren't users of the light who haven't been a bit selfish and dark side users who haven't been a bit more selfless. It's just, that's the common goal. You you go to the dark side to gain power, to gain, you know, more power for yourself and more and knowledge, all that. For your own gain is what the dark side kind of is, drives you toward, what drives you towards the dark side. Whereas the Jedi kind of or light side kind of serves more the whole as it turns as mm, as opposed to the one, and then gray Jedi usually follow the middle. Um, the gray Jedi basically are users of both force uh, style force techniques, force lightning and dark side the techniques and light side techniques. Um, but could she go to the dark side? Yes. Will she go to the dark side? I'm probably gonna say no. I, I'm gonna say she's. Now I think there's a from what I understand there was a set photo of her with a green glove on her hand, which means she, like so many others in her lineage, be it Kenobi or uh, or uh, or Skywalker or Jedi in general, she's gonna possibly lose a limb in this episode, um, which will be funny. Um, well, funny. It might be you know it might be horrifying, but you know whatever. I just hope that if that is the case, I hope they don't spoil that in the trailers, uh, because that's something that you don't, uh, that, that's something you don't want to spoil in the trailers. Um, uh, but yeah, anyway, yeah, that's my thought on that. This was a, this was a relatively easy video, short video. I just wanted to crank it out before I had to go to work and I did. Um, I will have a review up for office Christmas party. I'm sure right now. Hello, Domino. What are you doing? Stay away from the cat food. You already got into the cat box and eating cat poop today. We don't like it when you eat cat poop. Uh, it's not good for you. And because there's key litter in there too, but who knows? Maybe the crystals and fiber will help pass through your system a bit more. I mean, you eat rocks for God's sake, dog. So, but you haven't really done that recently. Um. <laughs> anyway, though, yeah. Um, I have no other videos planned for. I already did a magic video actually this week, which was for this Aether, uh, revolt, Aether revolt or Ether revolt. I think it's Ether. Uh, the Ether Revolts or uh, spoilers that's popped up over the weekend, which we might even get more later on. Which, if we get more, those will be my videos for the week. It saves me time actually doing other videos. Um, I don't have anything else planned except for a review for Office Christmas Party. As I was about to say, Mark may or may not join me for that. It's up in the air at the moment. If he joins me, great. If he doesn't, oh well, it's just another one I do by myself. I hope to God he does too. We can he can go join me for Rogue One next week. I do hope that because. It's Star Wars, man. Star Wars is one of those things. Me, both me and we geek on a lot. Uh, we have our own personal geeking out stuff, 
And there goes the phone. Perfect timing. Uh, but, you know, we personally get, both geek out at Star Wars among a few other things. But anyway, thanks for watching. The phone is becking me to end. So thanks for watching. See you next time.